right, so we just got everything relaxed um, using our percussion tool, and we did the first step in the activation and re-education of getting that muscle to go from pain-free to performance ready. And that first step was doing an isometric hold in the end range of motion um, to kind of activate and restabilize uh, that muscle and, and that joint structure to get it going. So the next two steps, remember, you went from pain, pain-free, now we've gotten one step, we're not quite ready for performance ready. The next thing you need to do is activate that with a um, coordinated light load. Um, again, the band stretching that I show in a couple other videos is a great way for the lower body in particular to get that re-education process going with a light load. And then you're going to, uh, that third um, and final step is moving into increasing your workload in the activities uh, that you need to do. That's really where the art of all of this meets the science um, because there's a lot of things that you need to take into consideration. Um, and that's why I highly encourage you to get with a coach, a therapist that can help you uh, with that. Um, but the simple thing to remember is keep it simple and limit the variables that put stress on the affected area so that you can determine if it was an activity that may reintroduce pain or a workload, the volume of, and amount of work that you did. So um, that's it. Remember, you're not gonna go from pain to performance simply because you're pain free. Take the necessary steps to slowly build your way back up. All right.